The frustrating thing about backpacking is that the moment that you think you have the best or the newest gear, something else better or newer pops up. When I came across this beast of a backpacking tent, I knew I was in trouble. I immediately went out and I sold two future children so I could have it, and boom, I have it. This is the Nemo Dagger Osmo two-person backpacking tent. Everyone knows that Nemo makes great tents, and so what Nemo did basically with this one is they took a longtime favorite, the Dagger series, buffed it up a little bit with this new Osmo sub-series. One of the things that majorly changed from the old Dagger to this new Dagger Osmo is the material it's made out of. It's made out of what they also call their Osmo material. It's a poly-nylon mix. And Nemo brags that basically this Osmo material is four times more water repellent than old materials. It is three times less stretchy when it's wet, and it has a 20% higher strength rating when compared to other fabrics. When I opened this tent for the first time, I knew how waterproof it was. Now, bear with me a second, but have you ever opened a new deck of cards and it's got like that? air cushion coating or whatever they call it and they just like slide over each other. That's what this tent did. I opened it up and the rain fly and the mesh, it just kind of slid over each other. You can feel it in the material itself exactly how insanely waterproof this is. The rain fly itself has a 2000 millimeter waterproofness rating so you can trust it in the heaviest of the rainstorms. And speaking of heavy rainstorms, something really cool that is in the Dagger series I believe as well and it is especially revamped in the Osmo series, is what Nemo calls their landing zone. The landing zone is like a bathtub floor, but yet for your vestibule. So basically, it's this little section of one of your vestibules that raises up a waterproof material around the edges, so that way you can put your water-sensitive items in that part of the vestibule. So that way, if there's a really heavy rainstorm and there's water actually running past your tent, the gear isn't gonna get wet. This tent also, like most uh, newer tents, are kind of following the trend of having this tent has a bathtub floor, which just means kind of like the landing zone. It just means that the material that the floor is made out of, which is also this poly nylon material, super waterproof. It Instead of just being the floor, it kind of comes up for uh, three or four inches on the sides, uh, just basically creating this little bathtub floor. So that way, if there's water running past your tent, it doesn't actually get in through the walls of your tent and start getting the edges of where you're sleeping wet. Going back to the vestibules, the dagger version of the Osmo series, because Nemo made two. Nemo made the dagger and the Hornet Osmo. Um, the dagger is basically like the bigger brother. It's like it's got more room. It's more comfortable. And then the Hornet is more like lightweight on trail. So basically what they have going on for the dagger, they've got massive trapezoid shaped vestibules. The dagger tent has two of them, and this trapezoid shape just gives you a lot more room for you to keep your gear protected on both sides of this tent. Also, the door of the mesh and of the vestibules have this super easy to use clip instead of weird Velcro or tying off. So that way, if you wanna fold it back out of the way, it's a really easy clip. You just lift up over and clip it in. As I said before, the dagger of the Osmo series is the bigger tent. They've got aluminum poles with a huge brow pole over the center of the tent that really works to just lift up that mesh. And it lifts it up so much that you have a whole lot more headroom than you would realize you would for the amount of weight that the tent is. For such a big tent, you would really not expect the three pound, six ounce minimum trail weight that you can get with this tent. So if you're really looking for a tent that's comfortable, that gives you a little bit more room than the average lightweight backpacking tent, but isn't gonna break your back with pounds, the Nemo Dagger Osmo is an absolutely amazing option for you. Another really cool feature that I found on this tent is what they call the nightlight pockets. Basically, it's just on both sides where your head is, where your feet are at, there is a little slice of fabric that's kind of colored and see-through. So you can take your headlamp and turn on your headlamp at night, stick it up in that little sleeve and that fabric is gonna distribute the light evenly amongst your tent with a soft glow. So you can use that for your tent light. Instead of having to bring your headlamp and a tent light, you can leave the tent light at home, just use your headlamp as the tent light. As always, Nemo offers a lifetime warranty for their tents, as well as detailed instructional videos on how to store your tent, how to clean your tent, how to take care of your tent, how to prepare and repair your tent so that you can feel safe in your purchase. This tent is more on the expensive side than most tents that I usually try to get. But look, if you're looking for a good tent that's gonna stand up in whatever weather you have, it's gonna give you a lot of size, a lot of room, and it's going to be a pretty good weight for the amount of room that it provides for you. Check out the Nemo Dagger Osmo two-person tent because it is an absolutely amazing tent.
All right, that's all for this video. I just thought that I'd take some time to talk about the newest tent that I have and I'm using on trail. Hey, thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments, uh, suggestions, something you wanna see more of, something you disagree with, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you do like this kind of content, I always appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel, like the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.